You just gotta love nature, it's the best. <laughs> so anyway, everyone, I just wanna say in this video that if you're trying to be anybody, if you're trying to fit into a mold of who you think you should be, according to culture or society, or especially some sort of traditional spiritual philosophy or religion, I think you're missing the mark. And I think Osho, who I think is very wise, would agree with, with this and me. Because I find so many people trying to be peaceful. Oh, oh, thank you. Be, trying to be spiritual. All holy in grace. All quiet. But they've so much suppressed and repressed stuff. They're not let loose free like a child at all. Not in the slightest bit. They're trying to talk nicely and quietly. Or they're just doing namaste like way too much, like namaste. People get stuck in an ideology or a philosophy or a spiritual concept. People get like crazy about stuff, obsessed. People get obsessed in the spiritual community about the shadow, you know, your shadow self or your pain body. They get obsessed with the ego. People need to just relax. Relax the fuck up, you know, like relax the shit out. Just relax. Take care of your physical body more instead of irritating yourself with an abundance of toxins. And get out in nature more and just be simple. Be a bit simpler, like the child and the animal. Be free in the moment and have less self-concept of yourself, like your identity, who you are, who you, what you belong to. Let go of these ideas of yourself. You know, your, your culture, your race, nationality, your religion, your philosophy, your spirituality, your ideology, whatever the case may be, your gender, your age, your job. Let go of all these ideas of yourself. Just keep it simple, folks. This is like, this is Bray Head in uh, County Wicklow, Ireland, just to let you know. Trust me, everyone, trust me. I'm speaking from experience here. And when you let go of all this stuff, you're carrying way less weight and baggage. And you're just free to have more fun and live in the moment more. And you don't even have to try as hard because you don't have all these blockages blocking you and weighing you down. So what I'm trying to say is please be yourself. Allow yourself to be yourself instead of trying to be somebody else. You don't have to try and be your guru. Copycatting. Stop copycatting your guru. <laughs> Stop trying to be like Jesus or the Buddha or or whoever, like whatever your your favorite teacher is. You know. Don't try and be like me either, because you're you're you. You're special. You're unique. Love yourself. Allow yourself to be you. You know. You're special. God, we're all. We're all little beings and little snowflakes of source, everybody. And this man has been in the car since an hour ago when I started walking. <laughs> I'm glad he's having fun. He seems to be doing his thing, so I'm glad about that. So stop doing what your parents want you to do or society's telling you to be. Do your thing and shine your light. Share yourself and your spirit and your uniqueness with the world and with yourself. There's no need to save the world, just save yourself instead. And then you're gonna naturally be inspired to do certain things that are positive in your own way to help without a big idea that, you're, that you are helping or that you need to, and you don't need to be a savior or a rescuer. So save and rescue yourself first, everybody. Focus on yourself. You see, society has told us all the wrong things. They've tried to tell us being selfish is bad. But in a way, you can be higher self-selfish, lower self-selfish, ego-selfish, enlightened selfish. It's like those enlightened or higher self-selfishness is just focusing, having healthy self-care and self-love. So selfish maybe isn't, isn't the right word, but to be interested in yourself and to focus on yourself is actually very important. So everyone, I'm gonna let you be, I'm gonna go. Just be yourself, love yourself, accept yourself. Be tender and gentle on yourself. And don't get too obsessed with stuff like healing your shadow, pain body and ego and spiritual or physical concepts of yourself. 
and just enjoy life more and allow yourself to be happy and free, free in the moment. And you can be responsible and conscious too. You can be responsible and conscious too, I was saying. You, so just, just relax and uh, go easy on yourself and allow yourself to have fun in life, more fun and play for playfulness and laughter and lightness and make friends and do your hobbies and get be healthy and keep learning and growing. And uh, my bicycle's here. I was going to do the cliff walk again, but I just I'm underslept because of the full moon. By a few hours, I couldn't sleep, and then I woke up really early. And uh, I also did the cliff walk yesterday and did a lot of cycling. And I'm just tired. I'm not going to force myself. So everyone, take care and lots of love. And if you want any one-to-one -one consultations with me, it's my passion and purposeful work, and I'd love to help in any way. And if you want to learn, learn and if you like my video, stay tuned for more. And other than that, um, I'll see you again another time. And lots of love and take care of yourself. Bye.